And then from that point on, we, we began to trans uh, re receive God's Word. And then our minds begin to change. And then be because our mind starts changing, our life starts changing. And we begin to think, we become, be begin to come out of that blindness and we begin to think thoughts of good things, prosperity and, and healing and health and, you know, victory that overcomes the world. This is what I'm believing now, you see. I begin to get in another mode of thinking. Well, is it, it's odd that I'm in the same body I've always been in, the same mind I've always had. Except now I'm thinking different. God's come on the inside. I don't know a whole lot more than that. You can't just change something by thinking something different. No, you have to be born again. And I'm not saying that. But after we're born again. These Christians that have lived for years that, that haven't had their minds renewed by the Word of God. Do you understand that? There, there, there's plenty. There's, I, I've been able to say this for the last three weeks. There's people believe that, that God don't speak to you, that He don't speak to anyone. There's people who don't even know that God does speak to people. There's Christian people that don't even know that God speaks to people. Well, that's awful. That's shameful because God has spoke to people all through time. But there's Christian folks right now think that God don't speak to people. They think He won't speak to them. But there's plenty of people God has spoken to. There's plenty of people today that God is speaking to. Now, He's speaking to us through by the Holy Spirit, but it's the same. It's the same thing. It's no different. God's giving people visions. They People even had visions of Jesus and talked to Him. People says, oh, I don't believe that. Well, why, why would you not believe that? Why would you not believe that someone could talk to Jesus? Well, if I, if I had a hard time believing that, then I would have a hard time that after Jesus had rose from the dead, that he talked to the disciples. That, that he came and, and, and he told Thomas, he said, Thomas, come here. He heard what he said before. He said, I'm not going to believe anything. Till I stick my hand, thrust it in his side, and put my finger in the prints of those nails. He said, I'm not going to believe. Well, now you're setting up yourself for a, for a life of uh, heartache if, if you continue down that road. Jesus had a lot of mercy on him, and the first thing he did when he appeared, he said, Thomas, come here. It's very important to Jesus that he did not, that, that he did believe, but he needs to stop putting his... Stop trying to believe down that road that I can believe what I can see. Well, there he was, Jesus in the flesh. Talking to him. Thomas even thrust his hand into the resurrected Lord Jesus. Why would I have trouble believing that Jesus would talk to anyone? Why? I think that's silly. Now, some people may have made up stuff. I don't know about that. That's up to them. But I'm just saying Jesus could, could appear and speak to anyone he wants to. And do you know when he gave those disciples the, the, those uh, instructions in the book of Acts that he was resurrected? Do you know that when Jesus made the, uh, fried that fish up, he was resurrected. Amen. Maybe we forget some of those things. Maybe we forget that he is a real person. He has a real body. Just like us. Yeah, it's a glorified body. Now, one day we'll have the same thing. We could just appear. You don't have to go through the door. <laughs> That's pretty good, ain't it? But see, why would we, why would we think that Jesus wouldn't speak to people? Or why would we think that God doesn't speak to people? There's a lot of people today right in the church don't even think that God speaks to people. Amen. And it's not so. Of course He does. He spoke to those disciples there and He said, now, uh, He began to talk to them and, and uh, 
one of them, and I forget which one it says. He said, are, is, are you going to restore the kingdom at this time? And he said, it's not for you to know those things that God's put in his own power. Now, there's a lot of things for you to know, but there's some things that God's put in his own timing and it's going to happen. He said, you don't need to worry about those things. Like this date setting. People's all the time interested in setting dates. Got this big thing right now, people, Christian people, should never even give a second thought to. The world's going to end in uh, 1221. Says who? And they've been date setters from, from, from day one. Jesus is going to come back and this time. They, they think they're so smart, we're going to figure it out. Well, you know what? You ought to be smart enough to read the Word. It says that no man knows the day nor the hour. Jesus said, not even the angels in heaven. He said, and I don't even know. Well, it, I'd say you're pretty much left out, right? I'd say that pretty much leaves you out. So, 